Hi, my name is Matthew Flinders. I'm a professor of politics at the University of, she of Sheffield. Politics is my life. I'm a professor of politics, and more than that, I live my life very much in the political world. I work alongside politicians all over the world. I work with the public. I help the public. The funny thing is that politics isn't just my life. Politics is your life. Politics defines all of us and how we live our lives. This is a book that is intended to challenge you, to push you, to provoke you. If you don't want to be pushed and provoked, don't buy this book. I'd be disappointed if at times you weren't really mad with the arguments that I'm making. So let me give you it in a nutshell. My argument is that politics delivers far, far more than most people seem to realise. And indeed, the funny thing is that in those countries that have stable, working democracies, those people seem most disaffected from politicians and politics. There are a whole range of assumptions that have somehow got within the fabric of society. All politicians are, li are liars, politics is failing, don't trust them, it can never get better. We've become so cynical, it's like a black, damp cloud has descended upon us. I want to rip away that cloud and explain to you how and why politics matters. I want to shift you from the politics of pessimism towards the politics of optimism. How do I do that? I do it by going back to a very famous book by a professor called Bernard Crick. It was published exactly 50 years ago. His book was called In Defense of Politics, and he simply argued this. Democratic politics cannot make every sad heart glad. It can't produce simple solutions to complex problems. However, what democratic politics does deliver is a way that we can live together through compromise, discussion, giving and taking. We can all play a role. Winners will win, losers will lose, but at least the losers will live to fight another day. That's what politics is all about. This book isn't about big P politics. It's not about presidents and prime ministers. It's not about British politics and American politics or European politics, although it takes examples from all over the world. This is about politics as a way of life and about challenging what are known as disaffected Demo Democrats. I want to challenge those who think politics is broken. If you think politics is failing, might it be that actually that you're failing politics?